Welcome to the 2023 Oz Cycling Cyclist of the Year Awards, where we find out who will add their name to the prestigious honour roll of a winner of the Oppie, an award that was first given out in 1958 for the legendary Russell Mockridge. Some of the recent winners, the greats of Australian cycling, Anna Mears, Cadell Evans, Jai Himley, Logan Martin, Anna Wilson, Caroline Buchanan. It is a long and prestigious list. Of course, the award is named after one of the great pioneers of cycling, not just in Australia, but all the way around the globe, the great Sir Hubert Opperman. But before we get to that big award, and that's the last one on the agenda for these awards for the Australian Cyclists of the Year, we acknowledge the best of the juniors, the masters and the elites across all the disciplines, whether that be on the road, off the road or on the track. And that track, it might have been a BMX track, a single track or even the velodrome. It's been a huge year for Australian cycling. First, let's take a look at some of those highlights. Time now to get to the awards and first up is the women's bmx freestyle rider of the year we have two contenders to take out this title first it's sarah nikki she's the oceana and national champion she was 15th at her second uci bmx freestyle park world championships and is only 16 years of age also the other contender it is natalie diem 
She was sixth overall in the 2023 UCI World Cup, the season-long series, with some top 10 places in both China and Belgium. She was second at the national championships. She finished in 21st position at the UCI BMX Freestyle Park World Championships. The winner for the Women's BMX Freestyle Rider of the Year is Natalia Dean. 2023 has been such an incredible year for me, returning from injury and getting back into competition with getting some of my best results yet in my athlete career. But what a way to end the year with the 2023 Women's Freestyle Rider of the Year. I can't thank Oz Cycling enough for all the support they've given me throughout these years. My friends and family and my whole support system, haven't, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you so much and I'm very honored to win the 2023 Women's Freestyle Rider of the Year. From the women to the men for the BMX Freestyle Rider of the Year. This one, we've got three candidates to see who takes the title. First up, it's Alec Daniluti. He was 14th in the UCI World Cup races in both Belgium and China, 34th in one of those races in France, 36th in the race that was in Saudi Arabia. Jai Tui, he's another one of the contenders, fourth at a World Cup race in France, 15th in Belgium, 23rd in Saudi Arabia, and he was second at the national championships. The third contender is Logan Martin, a silver medal at the World Championships this year for Freestyle Park. He was the overall winner of the UCI BMX Freestyle World Cup with wins in China, Saudi Arabia and France, and he's the national champion. No surprises who the winner of this one is, it's Logan Martin. Hey guys, it's Logan Martin. I'm stoked to win BMX Freestyle Cyclist of the Year. Thanks to all you guys that follow my journey and support me along the way. 2023 was a good year with some good results at the events and I'm looking forward to continuing that into 2024 in my pursuit to qualify for another Olympic Games. From freestyle, it's time to turn our attention to BMX Racing. This is for the Women's BMX Racing Rider of the Year. There are two contenders for this one. First up, it is Saya Sakakabara who had an incredible season. She was the overall series winner for the UCI BMX Racing World Cup. She won five rounds in the World Cup this year. She was then fourth at the World Championships. She's the national champion and she is the Oceana champion. Also in this category, the other finalist is Lauren Reynolds. She was sixth at the World Championships, sixth at a World Cup race in Turkey. She had a fifth and a seventh place finish in races in Argentina. The winner of this one is the winner of the World Cup series. It is Saya Sakakabara. Hi everyone, Saya Sakakabara here. I'm very honored to have received the BMX Female Rider of the Year this year. This year has been such a great year of learnings as well as a lot of success. I really hope that continues on for next year. I'd like to thank my all cycling team, Luke Medill, Toby Edwards and Scott Gardner, as well as the other support staff who are on call every time I need them. And I'd also like to thank my sponsors, Red Bull, Scores and Oakley. Thanks everyone. Hope everyone has a great Christmas and New Year and I'll see you in 2024. Now for the men, for the BMX Racing Rider of the Year. Three contenders to take out the title in this one. First up is Isaac Kennedy, third in the UCI World Cup in Turkey, and then he had a serious knee and ankle injury that ended his season in July. Jesse Asmus, he was fourth in the World Championships for the under 23s, had a fourth place finish in one of the World Cups in Argentina for the under 23 category. Oceana champion for the under 23s, National Series Superclass overall winner. Bodie Turner is the third contender, national champion, Oceana champion, a third place finisher in the World Cup race in Argentina and a quarter finalist at the UCI World Championships. The 2023 BMX Racing Rider of the Year for the men, it goes to Bodie Turner. Hey guys, Bodie Turner here. I'm over the moon to accept the male BMX Cyclist of the Year award tonight. It's been one incredible year. I started off really strong, fought through some adversity with some injuries through the middle of the year, and then uh, finished off really strong with the World Cup podium and a national championship again this year. Um, it just feels so amazing to be back competing at the level I'm competing at. We have a huge year ahead next year for all of us. 
Um, so yeah, I'd just like to thank my coach, Sam Willoughby and Oz Cycling for all their support this year. Uh, getting to all the World Cups, getting around, traveling and supporting the team. Uh, I'd also like to thank my sponsor, Tangent, uh, for all their support and help, not only this year, but for the last four or five years, uh, kind of really fighting back to get to this level again. Uh, my club back home, Marunda BMX Club, you guys are always behind me and I really appreciate the support. Uh, my boss, I do work full time as well as competing. My boss is an absolute legend and gives me the time off to compete, to train, is super supportive. So special shout out to those guys. And of course, shout out to the family back home, my girlfriend for sacrificing so much time, uh, never seeing my face. I work all day, I get home and I go straight to training. So I can't do it without all their support. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this next year ahead. Best of luck to everyone for this huge season ahead. And. Uh, Let's get to it, thank you very much. From BMX Racing, we head indoors or maybe into the garage for eSports Cyclists of the Year. And this has just been a new category in the last couple of years. We're starting with the women and we have four contenders to take out the title here. Dana Davidson, she had four wins in the National Club eSports Series. Iliada Bolton, three wins in the National Club eSports Series. Justine Barrow, a perennial contender for this title. She was 35th in the UCI Esports World Championships and she was a first place finisher in one of the qualifying races for those World Championships. The fourth and final contender is Vicky Whitelaw. She was a participant in the Olympic Esports Series, 24th in the UCI Esports World Championships. She was third in one of the qualifiers, multiple wins in the National Elite and Club Series. The winner of the Women's Esport Cyclist of the Year is Vicky Whitehall. Tuning in from my pain cave in Canberra, and what better place to do it than on my indoor bike setup? Thanks all cycling for recognition of my esports results and achievements. Thank you to Gaia Riddervold, all the way over in Norway, for my mentor, uh, for the supplying of all of my equipment. To my Anonian racing team, thanks for the opportunity to race at the highest level. Thank you to Carla uh, Williams, Daniela Estrate for hands down being the best tactician and cleverest person in the eSports space. Thank you for all your uh, support. And finally, thank you to my family, Dave, Jessica and Isaac, for your support, for your uh, grace and space to give me um, the opportunities to race uh, and pursue my athletic goals. The number of contenders just gets bigger and bigger because the popularity of eSports continues to grow. Now for the men's eSports Cyclist of the Year, we have five finalists in this one. First up is Freddie Ovet. He was sixth at the UCI eSports World Championships. Kyle Marwood, 26th at the UCI Esports World Championships. Ben Hill, 30th at those World Championships. Josh Harris, 40th at the World Championships. We had a lot of contenders amongst the Australians at those World Championships. And finally in this category is Trent Stevenson, who had two wins, one second, and two third place finishes in the National Club Esports Series. The winner of the Men's Esports Cyclist of the Year is Freddie Ovet. Hey guys, uh, Freddie Ovet here coming to you all the way from Girona, Spain. Definitely a bit colder here than back home in Oz. Um, just want to say a big thanks for the nomination for the Esports Cyclist of the Year. Um, obviously a big fan of uh, racing online. Uh, I think we all did our fair share in lockdown and uh, yeah, I, I certainly was one that got hooked since then. So uh, big thanks to, to all my sponsors uh, for allowing me to do what I do. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a great summer. I'll be watching and uh, best of luck for everyone in the uh, Aussie summer race. From indoors, we head back outdoors for another one of the new categories. This is for the Gravel Cyclists of the Year, the Women's Gravel Cyclists of the Year. This has had a real impact on world cycling. We have four finalists in this category. First up, it's Tiffany Cromwell, who made a real splash with 10th place at the UCI World Championships in Veneto, Italy. She won the European Gravel Championships, which were held in Belgium. She also won one of the UCI Gravel Series races 
and she won the seven, which was held as part of the World Series across in Western Australia. Ella Bloor, one of the rising stars of Australian cycling, she was 62nd at the UCI Gravel World Championships and she finished in 22nd position overall at the Lifetime Grand Prix in the United States. Cassia Abolia, she was third at the National Championships, she was 54th at the World Championships and she finished second in the sevens race across in WA as part of the World Series and she finished third in another one of those races. And we also have Justine Barrow once again. She's eSport racing, she's gravel racing, she's doing a lot. She's the national champion. But the winner, the Women's Gravel Cyclist of the Year is Tiffany Cromwell. Hey there, it's a huge honor to be our take home the Female Gravel Cyclist of the Year Award for a second year running. A big thank you to Canyon Tram Racing and all the team's uh, sponsors and partners who have supported me as this journey. 23 has been a great ride and let's hope for a bigger and better 24. And thanks to everybody who supported me from close and afar. In the men's for the Gravel Cyclist of the Year, we have three finalists in this one. First up, it is Jacob Langham. He was 67th overall at the World Championships. He finished fifth in the seven, which was part of the UCI Gravel World Series across in Western Australia. And he was 12th at our national championships. Connor Sins, he was the national champion, a brilliant win by Connor Sins from Bendigo. He then went on to finish in 100th position at the UCI Gravel World Championships, sixth at the event across in Western Australia and he had a win at the Gravelista, one of the UCI Gravel World Series events. Lachlan Morton, who's made a name for himself venturing all around the world, he performed well this year on the gravel. He was fifth overall in the US in the Lifetime Grand Prix Series with multiple top five finishes. He was third in the very famous Unbound race, and he had a second place finish in the uh, Migration Gravel race in Kenya, which was a four day event. The winner and the men's gravel cyclist of the year is Jacob Langham. Hi everyone, Jacob Langham here. I'm very surprised, honored and humbled to have been awarded the men's gravel cyclist of the year after a uh, challenging but rewarding season. Um, this award was very unexpected and I'd like to thank my fellow competitors as well as taking the opportunity to thank my parents, family and friends, as well as Mel and others from VeloFit. And really looking forward to the 24 season. Um, so thanks very much. From Gravel Cyclist of the Year, we stay off road and we turn our attention now to the Mountain Bike Rider of the Year. And we start with the Women's Mountain Bike Cyclist of the Year. There are three contenders in this and we've got some world-class athletes in women's mountain biking. Rebecca Henderson, she's been a winner of this a few times in the past. She's the national champion, the Oceana champion in both the Olympic cross country and also short course cross country. She was third in one of the World Cups for the Olympic cross country and she got fifth at the World Championships for the cross country short course. Zoe Cuthbert, also, one of the rising stars of Australian mountain biking, second at the national championships, third at the Oceana Championships in cross country. She picked up a fifth place finish and a fourth place finish in under 23 World Cups, and she finished in 26th position in the UCI World Championships for the Olympic cross country event. And we also have Sean O'Hearn, brilliant downhill rider, national champion in 2023. She had two top 10 finishes in World Cup races for the downhills. The winner and the Mountain Bike Rider of the Year for 2023 is Rebecca Henderson. Hello, I'm Beck. Just want to say thanks for the award this year um, and thanks to everyone who's uh, supporting me from near and far and look forward to seeing you in 2024. Men's Mountain Bike Cyclist of the Year, three finalists in this category. First up is one of the world's best downhill riders and he has been for a long time, Troy Brosnan. And this year in the USI World Cup, it was eight overall in that series for Troy Brosnan. Ryan Gilchrist, he's had a breakout season in World Cup Enduro events with top 10 finishes. He also took out a win at the Cranksworks event in Cairns, also won the Cranksworks event in Whistler, and he finished fifth in the Pump Track World Championships. 
The third contender to take out this award is Dan Booker. He was second in one of the UCI World Cup Enduro events. He was third in the Oceana Championships for downhill racing, and he finished seventh overall in the Enduro World Cup. It was a fantastic season for him. But there can only be one winner, and the Oz Cycling Mountain Bike Rider of the Year is Ryan Gilchrist. G'day, it's Ryan Gilchrist here, and I'm really proud to be awarded with Men's Mountain Biker of the Year for 2023. 2023 has been my first year racing full-time professional mountain biking, and it's been a very eye-opening experience, and I'm really proud to be doing it in my new Yeti colors. So massive shout-out to everyone in my corner, and looking forward to 2024. Now time for the paracyclists and Australian paracyclists have been amongst the very best in the world for quite some time now. And although we're reflecting on who was brilliant in 2023, this is a great stepping stone to what we expect from the Paralympics in 2024 in Paris. And I've got my fingers crossed for some great results. First up, it's the Women Road Paracyclists of the Year. We have Lauren Parker, world champion in the WH3 individual time trial that was in Glasgow. She picked up a silver medal as well in the road race. She's national champion, she's won World Cups, and she's the Oceana champion, taking out the time trial and also the road race. Alana Forster, she was second at the World Championships in the individual time trial in Glasgow. She was also second in the time trial at the Oceana Championships, and she won the road race at the national championships, and that was a really tight battle with Meg Lemon, who's one of the other finalists in this category. We have Emily Petricola, second in the individual time trial at the World Championships in the time trial, second as well in the road race. Another brilliant season for Emily Petricola. She also took out some wins in World Cup races, particularly a victory in Belgium. Meg Lemon, third at the World Championships in the road race. She was also third at the World Championships in the individual time trial. Such a consistent performer. And the final contender is Paige Greco, Another bronze medal, third place for Paige Greco in the road race at the UCI World Championships in Glasgow. The winner of the Women's Paracyclists of the Year on the road is Lauren Parker. I'm really excited to receive this award. A big thank you to Oz Cycling for the amazing support that I've received since starting Paracycling. Thank you to my sponsors, my family and friends, my coach Dan Atkins, it wouldn't be possible to do what I do without the amazing support that I receive. Thank you. Time to turn our attention to the men for the Men's Road Paracyclists of the Year. Three finalists in this category. First, it's Alastair Donahue, Mr. Consistent in Paracycling, Mr. Consistent in Cycling. This year, he had good results in the World Cup races. In Italy, he had a third place finish in an individual time trial. In Belgium, he had a fourth place finish in an individual time trial. Darren Hicks, the World Championships. Hicksy, so close, two silvers. Silver medals in Glasgow, one in the time trial, won in the road race, but he also won quite a few national titles, both in road races and individual time trials. The third contender, Stuart Jones, fourth at the World Championships in the individual time trial. He also picked up two fourth place finishes in World Cup races, one in a time trial, one in a road race across Italy and Belgium. The winner of the Men's Road Paracyclist of the Year is Darren Hicks. Hey everyone, uh, Darren Hicks here. Uh, thank you very much for the award tonight. Uh, really happy with my year on the road. Uh, two silvers and just six seconds off the win for the road time trial. Uh, really does leave us in a great position heading into Paris 2024. A big thank you to Oz Cycling and Sassy um, for everything you do when it comes to my racing and training, uh, and in particular, um, my coach Cameron Jennings. Uh, I'd also really like to thank my personal sponsors so run through bike sports and FE sports, uh, but in particular Santini and Northwave, uh, and also Rival 100%, uh, Kogel and Pirelli Tyres, uh, and also Shimano Australia. Um, without your help and support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do either. So I uh, appreciate it and uh, looking forward to 2024. <laughs>
From the road to the track for our paracyclists, first up, it is the Women's Track Paracyclist of the Year. And this is a large contingent of contenders because our riders were brilliant, particularly at the World Championships. Starting with Amanda Reid, she won world titles in both the 500 meter time trial and in the Omnium. She then picked up a silver medal in the scratch race of the World Championships and a bronze medal in the individual pursuit at the World Championships. All those world titles held in Glasgow. Jessica Gallagher, also a good campaign for her at the World Championships. She picked up a silver medal in the tandem for the sprint and a silver medal in the tandem for the 1,000 metre time trial. It was a good campaign for her and her pilot, let's not forget, Caitlin Ward. She also rode brilliantly. Paige Greco, she got a bronze medal page in the individual pursuit at the World Championships in Glasgow. Erin Rowell, also a bronze medalist at the World Championships in Glasgow. That was in the 500 metre time trial and a fifth in the mixed C team sprint. Emily Petricola, world champion in the individual pursuit. Alana Forster, world champion in the scratch race. This is a tough category. There can only be one winner. The women's track paracyclist of the year is Amanda Reed. It's an honor to receive this award after the great season I've had this year. I'd just like to thank everybody who has supported me, especially those who have helped me over the last six months after I moved LA. Now for the men's track paracyclist of the year, three finalists here. We have Darren Hicks, a silver medal at the World Championships in the individual pursuit, and he picked up fifth place in the Omnium, showing his versatility. Michael Shipley, a silver medal for Michael in the 1,000 metre individual time trial, and a fifth place finish in the mixed C team sprint at those world titles in Glasgow. And Gordon Allen, Gordon picked up a bronze medal in the C2 1,000 metre time trial, and once again, he was a part of that fifth place finish for the mixed team sprint. The winner of the track paracyclist of the year, he's done it again, it's Darren Hicks. Hi all, Darren again. Uh, such an honor to pick up both awards tonight and definitely something that's very unexpected. The Glasgow Games were really something that I'm never going to forget. Uh, as a paracyclist, to ride in front of a full velodrome is often an experience we, we don't get. Um, so to not only have that, but also be able to ride as well as I did, you know, two PBs and an Australian record for the pursuit was just a dream come true. Again, a really big thank you to everyone that uh, supports what I do, sponsors of Cycling Sassy, uh, but also my family, my friends, uh, my manager, John. Eight months away until Paris, which is uh, coming up very fast, but I think we're ready. Um, I really hope everyone tunes in and watches us do what we do. Um, yeah, thank you very much for the support and see you all next year. From the velodrome, we head off-road once again. It's now time for the Cypher Cross, the Cyclist of the Year, starting with the women. Two finalists in this category, Catherine Hosking, national champion and fourth in the national series, and Miranda Griffiths, three national series wins, second overall in the series, and second at the national championships. The women's cyclocross cyclist of the year is Catherine Holsky. Thank you for this award. I want to thank uh, my team, Obey Women's Racing, for their support this year. And I want to say a big thank you to the Canberra Cyclocross community for encouraging me and getting me involved in cyclocross. It's been an amazing year, so thank you to everyone out there. Just like in the women's, in the men's, we have two finalists to see who will be crowned as the men's cyclocross cyclist of the year. Chris Aiken, fantastic season. He won the national series and he also won the national title in the elites. Tristan Naish, rising star of Australian cyclocross racing, 48th in the under 23 event at the world championships, national champion in the under 23s. Didn't just win, he lapped the entire field and he won the opening two rounds of the national series in the elite category. The winner of the men's cyclocross cyclist of the year is Chris Aiken. Hi guys, 
Chris Aiken here. Just want to say thank you for this award. It's been a great season with plenty of races all around the country put on by our fantastic volunteers. It's great to see the new generation of young cyclocross riders coming through. I can't wait to see what happens next year. Finally, just like to say thanks to our team, Map Sixpence, for all the great support this season. Cheers, guys. Now it's time to pull out the crystal ball and have a look at the future of Australian cycling and it's in good hands as we make the awards for the Oz Cycling Junior Cyclist of the Year across each of the disciplines. For BMX female, it is Sienna Pohl. What a year she had. Silver at the UCI BMX Racing World Championships in the Juniors in Glasgow. National Champion, third at the Oceana Championships. Congratulations. BMX male, it's Joshua Jolly, National Champion, semi-final at the UCI BMX Racing World Championships and third at the Oceana Championships. For the Mountain Bike Female Cyclist of the Year, this is for under-19s. For the juniors, it is Sasha Mills, National Champion, Oceana Champion for Downhill, 12th at the UCI World Championships for Downhill Racing. She also finished second at one of the World Cup races in France. The future is incredibly bright. Mountain Biker Male Junior Cyclist of the Year from the Under-21 category, it's Sasha Kim. A huge year for Sasha, particularly on the Enduro World Cup Series. He finished second overall for the World Series for the Under-21 men. He had a couple of wins in that series, one in Medina, the other one in Derby. He was also third in the UCI Enduro World Cup across all the Under-21 results. A huge year for Sasha. For road, female, Felicity Wilson Hafferton, what a whirlwind season it was for her. She won the time trial for the under 19s at the World Championships in Glasgow. At the National Championships, she won the time trial on the road. She won the road race. She then won the Oceana individual time trial as well. And she got second at the Oceanas in the road race. Huge season, big year ahead. She's been signed by one of the world's biggest teams. For road male, it is Oscar Chamberlain. Another world champion against the clock, just like Felicity. He won the under-19 world time trial title in Glasgow. He was also a winner of the Watersley Junior Challenge in the Junior World Cup Series. He was a national time trial champion, finished second at the Junior Paris-Roubaix, and he was the highest ranked male in the under-19 road world points across the season. Congratulations on a great year, Oscar. Track female, Junior Cyclist of the Year is Nicole Duncan, another Junior World Champion. She won that title in the scratch race. She then finished second as well in the Madison, and she was third in the team's pursuit. Three medals at those Junior World Championships, multiple Oceana and Australian titles as well. And finally for the juniors, the track male Junior Cyclist of the Year, Tate Ryan. What a year it was for Tate. A gold medal at the Junior World Championships on the track in the 1,000 metre time trial, an event that Australia has such a proud history in. He was a silver medalist in the sprint at those Junior World Championships. He won three gold medals at the Commonwealth Youth Games. He won four gold medals at the National Track Championships. A huge year for Tate. From youth to experience, it's now time to turn our attention to the Oz Cycling Masters Cyclist of the Year. And we're kicking off with BMX Female, and the BMX Female Cyclist of the Year was Nicole Thompson. She was seventh at the World Championships for the 30 years of age plus, and she was the national champion BMX for 30 to 34 year age bracket. For the BMX Male, it is Jamie Truan. He was seventh for the men's 35 plus at the UCI BMX Racing Challenge 20 inch, and six in the men 35 to 39 Cruiser UCI BMX Racing Challenge in Glasgow. Mountain Bike Female Cyclist of the Year for the Masters is Beverly Anderson. Another brilliant year for Beverly, the winner of the UCI Masters Mountain Bike World Championships in the 65 to 69 category. And of course, she won the national titles as well. For the male Mountain Bike Master Cyclist of the Year, this one goes to Adrian Jackson. Congratulations, Adrian, on an outstanding year. A world title for the 40 to 44 age bracket and three national titles in that age division. A dominant performance across the season. We now turn our attention to the road. For the Road Female Master Cyclist of the Year, it is Ivana Cicelli. She was third in the UCI Grand Fondo World Championships in the time trial in Glasgow for the 55 to 59 age bracket. 
Still on the road for the Masters Male Road Cyclist of the Year. This one goes to John Horsberg, who was second at the UCI Grand Fondo World Championships in the road race, third at the Grand Fondo World Championships in the time trial. He won the Amy Gillett's Grand Fondo. He won the Tour de Brisbane Grand Fondo, and he was second at the National Championships. And all of this in the age category from 75 to 79. Now that is a role model. We now go to the track for the track female Masters Cyclist of the Year and showing just how good and how diverse their skill set is, it is Beverly Anderson. She's five times a winner of UCI Masters at Track World Championships, the individual pursuit, the time trial, the scratch race, the sprint, and the team sprint in the age category from 65 to 69. Congratulations on an extraordinary year once again, Beverly. To round out the Masters category, it is the Track Male Masters Cyclist of the Year. And this one goes to Gary Mandy. He won three world titles this year in the 60 to 64 age category. He won the time trial, the team sprint, and the sprint. He's quick. Well done, Gary. We return to the elite categories after having celebrated the Masters and the Juniors. It's now time to turn our attention to the road with the Women's Road Cyclists of the Year. In this category, we have some of the world's best cyclists. Grace Brown, for the second year running, picking up a silver medal at the World Championships in the individual time trial. She won the Tour Down Under and picked up a stage victory as well. She won the Ladies Tour in Brittany with a time trial victory. She also won the Grand Prix Pumalac. She was sixth at the Amstel Gold Race, national champion in the time trial, second in the road race. Another huge year for Grace Brown. Another contender in this category, Ruby Roseman Gannon. Fourth overall at the Tour Down Under. She was fourth in the Classic Le Rond, fourth in the Thurrigan Tour, fifth at Dwarves d'Or Vlander, and seventh at the Ket 11's Great Ocean Road Race. And Amanda Spratt, she's been a winner of this category a few times in the past. She was second at the Tour Down Under behind Grace Brown, second at the Ket 11's Great Ocean Road Race. She was third overall at the Setama Ciclista Valenciana. She was 10th overall at the Tour de France Femme Avec Zwift. A huge performance by Amanda Spratt. The winner of the Women's Road Cyclist of the Year is Grace Brown. Hey everyone, Grace Brown here. Um, just want to say I'm super honoured to receive the 2023 Female Road Cyclist of the Year uh, for Oz Cycling. It's been a really great year um, and particularly uh, I'd say my highlight of the year was the World Championships in Glasgow where I came second again for the for the second year in a row um, but this time very very close by 5.5 seconds so um, yeah results like that I guess keep the dream alive um, and it's always a real honour to to race in those Australian colours and um, have the whole country behind me so I guess yeah I on that, I want to thank um, everyone from Australia and beyond that's been supporting my journey. Um, of course, my my family, uh, the number one supporters, and then my coach, my uh, yeah, my trade team, FJ Swes, um, and everyone at Odd Cycling that's really put in over the last uh, few years to to keep me improving um, in my time trial. So thank you everyone and um, congratulations to all the other award winners as well. Men's Road Cyclist of the Year. And once again, we have some of the best cyclists in the world to celebrate, but there can only be one winner. The finalists, Caden Groves. What a year Caden had. Breakout performance at the Volta a Spagna, winning three stages and bringing home the green jersey, winning the points classification. He also won a stage at the Giro d'Italia. He picked up the Volta Limburg and he won two stages at the Volta Catalunya. Jai Himley made his debut in the Tour de France. Brilliant solo victory on stage five and became the eighth Australian to wear the yellow jersey at the Tour de France. He went on to finish in seventh position in the general classification. Jay Vine started the season perfectly. He won the individual time trial at the national championships in Ballarat. 
He then went on to win the Tour Down Under and he closed out the season strongly by winning the Tour of Turkey. Matt Dinham, what a debut. Neo professional, first year in the Pro Peloton, rode the Tour de France and finished a very impressive seventh place in the road race at the World Championships. Hamish McKenzie, youngster, rising star, bronze medal in the under 23 category in the time trial at the World Championships. First year under 23, and he was just 51 seconds behind the world champion. A lot to like. He picked up a silver medal in the individual time trial at the Oceana Championships in Brisbane. And Jack Haig, fifth overall at the Criterium de Dauphiné, third at the Tour de Alps, 10th at Paris Nice, 19th at the Giro d'Italia. The men's road cyclist of the year for 2023 is Caden Groves. Hi everyone, Caden Groves here. I would like to thank everyone for this, uh, this award for recognising my 2023 season. For me, it was a fantastic break at, breakthrough season with uh, Alpes and de Koenig, uh, winning the Green Jet in the Wild Tour Espana. First Australian to do so. And uh, yeah, congratulations to everyone else on their season. Heading away from the road and it's back into the velodrome and it's onto the track for the Women's Track Cyclists of the Year. Once again, it's been an impressive season on the boards. Georgia Baker, great year, silver medal in the Madison where she teamed up with Alex Manley. She also picked up a silver medal in the points race at the World Championships. Madison National Champion, Omnium National Champion as well. Alex Manley, she got that silver in the Madison and she also won the national title in the Madison. That silver, of course, was at the World Championships with Georgia Baker. Christina Clonan, one of the fastest women in the world on a bike. A silver medal at the World Championships in the 500 metre time trial. Oceana champion, the team sprint, the Kirin and the time trial. National champion in the sprint and the Kirin. The winner though of the women's track cyclist of the year is Georgia Baker. Hi everyone, sorry for the backdrop, um, but I, I feel very, very honoured to receive the Female Track Cyclist of the Year Award and I'd just really like to thank Oz Cycling um, and in particular I'd like to thank my coaches Glenn, Tim, uh, Peter, Matt and Jean. Um, definitely wouldn't be possible without you, but more importantly I'd really love to thank the Women's Track Endurance Squad. Uh, these results definitely wouldn't be able to happen without the girls, so thank you. And yeah, I hope everyone's having a great holiday season and Merry Christmas. Now for the men and the men's track cyclists of the year. Let's take a look at the finalists first. Matthew Richardson, huge year. Silver at the World Championships in the Kieran. Silver at the World Championships in the team sprint. He was the winner, the UCI Track Nations Cup Kieran at the round that was in Canada. UCI Track Champions League season, he was second overall in the sprint category. Sprint and Kieran national champion. Oceana champion, the team sprint, the sprint and the Kieran. Matt Glater, always a contender for this title. Another silver medal for Matt Glaser at the World Championships. This time, it was in the 1,000 metre time trial. Also part of that team that picked up the silver medal in the team sprint at the World Championships. And he was a winner of the team sprint at one of the UCI World Cup rounds that was in Canada. And he's the Oceana 1,000 metre time trial champion. And the third contender, Thomas Corniche, a bronze medal at the World Championships in the 1,000 metre time trial. Silver in the team sprint, part of the team with the two mats, and he was a part of the team, the team sprint that won the World Cup round early in the season in Indonesia. The winner of the men's track cyclist of the year is Matthew Richards. Hi everyone, Matt Richardson here. Just wanted to say what a huge honour it is to win male track cyclist of the year. It's, uh, it's been a great year and I just wanted to thank all my friends and family for all their support and, and my coaches, Matt and Toby, um, for their support in Adelaide as well, obviously obviously getting me to the level where I am. And yeah, it's been a great year and, and I'm just hoping for more success in, in 2024. Thanks. This one is a new category. And although cycling often to the outside looks like an individual sport, so often it is very much a team sport. 
So we have Team of the Year for 2023. We have two finalists. First up, it is the ARA Australian Cycling Team Men's Team Sprint Squad, which picked up the silver medal at the World Championships and had a couple of wins at the Nations Cup. This was a team that included Matt Richardson, Matt Glater, Lee Hoffman and Thomas Corniche. The other finalists, ARA Australian Cycling Team Women's Madison, silver medalist from the World Championships, Georgia Baker and Alex Manling. The winners, it is ARA Australian Men's Team Sprint Squad. Hi everyone, Lee and Matt here, half of your Oz Cycling Team of the Year. Just like to say thanks for the overwhelming support throughout 2023 and many years before that. Yeah, we've had a great year. We've had a great couple of years. We're enjoying some real depth in the men's sprint squad and we've had some great results and we're looking forward to carrying those podium results on to next year for the Olympics. So yeah, thanks again, everyone. Thank you. Hey everyone, Tom Cornish here. Just like to say what an honor it is to be a part of the team that's won this award. Uh, I know we're all very happy and we've all had a great year and uh, it wouldn't be possible without the help from all our coaches and sponsors and all of the staff behind the scenes. So um, yeah, big thanks to everyone involved and uh, let's see what we can do next year. As always with the Oz Cycling Cyclist of the Year Awards, we save the best to last. It's time now to award the Oppie. And what an honor roll it is. It first started way back in 1958. It was created by Bill Long to pay tribute to the great Russell Mockridge, who'd sadly passed away that year in a, a racing crash that he was part of. And it is named after the legendary Sir Hubert Opperman, who rode the Tour de France in 1928 and 1931. And he was the sports star of the year in France in 1931. They loved him. And it's a huge honour roll. Cadell Evans has won this title a few times. Robbie McEwen, Anna Mears, Caroline Buchanan, Logan Martin. Greats of Australian cycling. We have four finalists this year. Let's take a look at them. The world of professional cycling holds many tales of athletes transitioning to the bike because of major setbacks that they've encountered in other sports. Few stories of determination are more inspirational than that of Lauren Parker. Eight years ago, the talented triathlete suffered serious spinal injuries in a training accident. After six intensive months in hospital, the Novocastrian found a new goal in the face of adversity, paratriathlon. Gold medals and world titles would come her way and she would go on to dominate the class of wheelchair triathlon. This year, Lauren competed for Australia in paracycling and success came at her first major event. Easily into the lead. At the 2023 UCI Glasgow Worlds in the H3 time trial, a category for hand cyclists with effective movement in the trunk, legs and hands, Lauren, racing against the clock, would win the gold medal. In doing so, the 34-year-old would achieve a rare feat, becoming a world champion for her country in both paratriathlon and paracycling. At just 12 years of age, Logan Martin first tried freestyle BMX after following his brother to the local skate park. 18 years later, the Queenslander has achieved remarkable success both locally and internationally. He's become one of the highest profile figures in the sport across any discipline of cycling. For Logan, 2023 has been another good vintage. Opening his international season at the UCI BMX Freestyle World Cup in Saudi Arabia, Logan's season would start in perfect fashion. Then on to Montpellier, where 10 years on from winning his first World Cup event at the same venue, the second gold of this year would be his. Arriving in Glasgow for the Freestyle World Championships, expectations were high. The reigning Olympic and world champion laid down a spectacular final run. However, he came up just short, finishing a mere half a point shy of gold and claimed an outstanding silver medal. At the final round of the USA World Cup in China, the Gold Coast rider strung together a series of near flawless tricks. But it was his signature forward front flip that caused the biggest reaction. 
By winning the round, Logan Martin would confirm his overall victory in the 2023 UCI World Cup. It is clear that going fast is in the DNA of Amanda Reid. It was at the tender age of nine when she claimed her first national title in the demanding sport of short track speed skating. She would go on to successfully compete for Australia at the Paralympics in both swimming and speed skating. It was in 2012 at the age of 15 when Amanda made the switch to paracycling. Since then, the girl from the Blue Mountains has made the C2 500 metre time trial her own. A multiple world champion across a variety of disciplines, Amanda is the first Aboriginal woman to win a Paralympics gold medal in Tokyo in 2021. It can't be easy being an elite athlete with cerebral palsy, but true champions come to the fore when adversity is at its greatest. This year in Glasgow, on the comeback from injury, Amanda delivered the ARA Australian cycling team its first rainbow jersey she dominated the C2 500 metre time trial. Not only was it her fourth consecutive time trial world title, she also left with a new world record. Caden Groves' foray into cycling began in 2014 as a 16 year old looking to recover from injuries sustained in a motorcycle crash. And since then, the Queenslander star has been on the rise. This year has been a breakthrough season for the 24-year-old. Caden opened his European campaign in impressive fashion, winning two stages at the Vuelta Ciclista a Catalunya. He followed this up with a powerful demonstration on the uphill wet cobbled finish at the Dutch One Day race, the Vuelta Limburg Classic. But his greatest results came on the big stage of Cycling's Grand Tours. At the Giro d'Italia, Groves avoided the carnage to win his first stage in Italy's biggest race, becoming the 18th Australian to do so. On to the Vuelta de Spagna, where the rider from Gympie would create his own slice of history. Having won two stages in the opening week, Groves launched himself into the lead of the green jersey, dominating the points classification after just three days of racing. Having survived the brutal mountains across the three weeks of racing, the Australian would win the final stage into Madrid in emphatic style. Significantly, he would become the first Aussie to win the Volta Espana's green jersey, capping off an outstanding season. So, Lauren Parker, Logan Martin, Amanda Reid, or Caden Groves? The 2023 Oz Cycling Cyclist of the Year, winner of the Oppy, it is Amanda Reid. It is amazing to join the list of Australian greats and extremely special to be the first paracyclist to win this award. There has been many amazing Australian paracyclists that have come before me and some that are still my teammates, which make all of this even more of an honour. I hope this opens more doors for paracyclists to be able to win this prestigious award. It was amazing to be able to race alongside the able body this year at the World Championships in Glasgow. And to win my ninth and 10th World Championships was absolutely amazing. I'm excited to see what 2024 holds for me and would like to take this time to thank my support network, especially my coach Cam, as well as Berthy and Yvette, who have gone above and beyond, especially in this last six months. And to all the other people who have also helped in the last six months since I've moved to Adelaide, a big thank you. Looking back over the wards, it's clear to see that we had a huge year in Australian cycling in 2023, and we're looking forward to 2024. Congratulations to not just the winners of the awards this year, but also to the finalists and to everybody that participated in a bike race of any description at any level. We hope that you're back in action on your bike next year as well. An event like this and all that happens in Australian cycling wouldn't be possible without the major partners of Oz Cycling. So thanks to GWM, ARA, Santini and Shimano. And thanks to you for watching and for riding your bike. Until next year, bye for now, safe riding.